media seemed to give the me idea. What I heard and saw there was fly, and I would have done anything to be that guy. So I blinded myself with the attitude I presented, the things that I wore, and the life I represented. I disowned the idea of his throne because as far as I had known, swag is what kept me from being alone because that's what I was told. But this couldn't have been true because when I looked in the mirror, no matter what I seemed to do, how I tried to dress, who I dated, or what I expressed, the only thing looking back at me was nothingness. I saw the fresh style, the blue eyes, and the crooked smile, but something was missing within me. And that's when it hit me. I wasn't listening. I was following. All the lefts, rights, ups, down, round, and rounds, I had tied myself up in confusion. The illusions around me I thought had made me fly were just grounding. All my life I've been focused on not being me, but being them. Never once think about asking God to open his arms and take me in. I've been disoriented with the stripe that Satan had so proudly placed in my life, and that wasn't right. I need to be taken from the darkness to the light and understand that to truly know me, I had to be aware of who I was made to be. I had to let God mold me from my old being and stop fleeing back to the worldly things made to be so appealing. Therefore, I opened my heart knowing I'd be dealing with persecution every day. Whatever, I signed that contract anyway. And now Satan is scared of me. I'm his enemy. With God on my side, I have supremacy. But this wasn't easy. I'd open my eyes and realize that without God, my life would be deprived of vitality. I would've been stuck with the mentality that life was just a bare journey with no happy ending. But instead, God has shown me the beauty of his world and the remedy to knowing my identity.